Man, look at this. Excuse me. Oh, oh, why are you backing up? Rock you to sleep. Do it. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Steve. Supposedly, there was a rematch last night. I didn't even know this game was going on. It was a rematch. Yo, let me tell you something. I spent two and a half hours doing a homework for one of my math classes. You want to know what I got on the homework? I got a four out of ten. And I spent two and a half hours doing that. I missed out on basketball games to do that. And I got a four out of ten on it. Whatever. Let's just watch this. Paul George. Play work. Look at. Thank you, Russ. Steven, you got to keep your head up, man. As soon as Steven got that steal, the cookies, should have just passed it. I don't know. He was, I think he's, you know, I think what he was doing was looking for Russ. Yeah. But still, you got to keep your head up, baby. I know you're looking for Russ, but you can have someone wide open down court. Oh, that's crazy. How you going to look at Melo and then give the ball to Russ? All right. You gotta watch yourself before Melo gets you kicked off the team. Kick it out. Alright. Hopefully OKC gets them back and actually wins this good extra pass. Hopefully OKC gets them back and actually wins this game. Cause that bug because Melo had that game winner and then Andrew Wiggins said, no, no game winner for you. You know, you remember that? Like Melo hit the game winner. Clutch is playing the league, by the way. And then Andrew Wiggins was I didn't know where to pull up from half court and bank it in. Okay, that's easy. I mean, that's that's good defense. Just better offense by Paul George as he got all the way down into the paint. Oh, cookies. On the baseline drive. Cookies. Oh. I was about to say, what the hell? Oh, it's showtime. It's showtime. Go all the way, Russ. Good freaking. Look at move. Uh oh. Look at that, all the way. Light work. Oh, is it? Look at, look at Jeff T. <laughs> what are you doing, Raymond? Chill out with that. Oh, excuse me. Now Raymond wants to act like he, he can shoot and he can play defense and he can be a good point guard. But when he's on the Knicks, he didn't want to do that. All right, let's see how it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please, Hezo. <laughs> Y'all remember when I did the uh, Guess Who NBA Challenge and I was doing that move and you got got it right away? I'm telling you, man. Look at this. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, why are you backing up? Rock you to sleep. Oh, another one. I feel like DJ. Ooh. Ice cream. I had to say that. Uh oh. Same way. Don't tell me he comes right back and gives another one. Rock him to sleep, my love. Ice cream, baby. I tell y'all, man. Best scorer in the league, hands down. There's no one better at scoring than this dude right here. Look at this, look at this. Rock a bye, baby. Ice cream. <laughs> Light work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, send it. Uh huh. Uh huh. You tell me who could score like this, man. Please tell me who's out of his prime. Teach him, Melo. Teach him. They don't know. I told y'all he's gonna be. He's gonna outlast everyone in the 03 draft. He already outlasted D Wade. He already outlasted CB. He, and he definitely gonna outlast. I don't know about that one. Maybe. Cause this dude LeBron looks like he gets younger as he gets older. It's crazy. Oh, splash that. There you go, PG. I ain't saying ice cream to PG, but there you go. It's a weird looking dunk. For the flying Jeremy Grant. Hey, remember when we showed you that highlight about the, 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 the Timberwolves trying to get into tra get into transition? Man, hey, get Jeff Teague off my screen. I already know how I feel about Jeff Teague out here for the pillow. I said, ah, dunk it on him, baby. I don't know what the hell I just said. But y'all already know how I feel about Jeff T, Al Horford, and Paul Millsap. Don't ever put them on my screen. Please. Oh my god. Mellow baby, this dude, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Class is in session, youngin. Class is in session. Ice cream. Look at it. Uh oh. Look, look at everyone laughing. Mellow's like, who is this guy? Who is this baby on me? You can't guard me. Come on now. Who you think you are trying to guard Mellow? Do, do you, have you seen his resume? Come on now. Have you seen Melo's resume? Kick it out, Paul. There you go. There you go. I thought Paul, I thought he was like trying to drive and then he threw the lock. 
Uh oh. Light word. Light word. <laughs> look, look. Oh, stand you. Oh, that's on cat too. I didn't even know that was on cat. Come on, baby. You you tell me, man. Who can score like this? You get caught watching that ball. George will step away from Good shot, PG. Don't listen to that. I wasn't no push off ref. Oh, cookies. Showtime. We'll take it. We'll take that light work layup. See what I'm saying? If, you know, you know where OKC is struggling? It's their defense. They just gotta get nitpicked, like get together like that on defense, and they'll be good. Good pass. Good pass. Uh oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I thought Melo was about to pull that from 40. Because the way Russ passed it, it's like he he thought Melo was. I thought Melo was about to pull that from 40. I was about to go crazy. He did that in the pre. I was about to go crazy. Oh, you don't even know. I was about to, I was about to scream and wake everyone up. Play work. Gives George a lot of room with that screen. Oh, his big screen. And George took his time. Kick it out. Oh, we'll take quarter. it. You ain't gonna call anything. I mean, come on, the dude fell on the floor. That should have been an That was outside. That should have been a charge. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna stunt. Should have been a charge. Splash. Oh, oh yeah. Class is in session. I don't care who. Class is in session. I don't care if it's Jimmy Butler. I don't care if it's Kawhi, if it's LeBron, if it's KD. You look at the track record. Come on. Dude falling on the floor because he got hit by air. There you go. I see you, Russ. Yo, how are the Timberwolves even close, man? Oh, showtime. Oh, come on, Russ. That was a whack-ass dunk. I wanted to see, like, a windmill. I don't even think Russ is flexible enough to do a windmill because the way he plays, he's so rigid and just strong and shit. I don't think he has the flexibility to do the windmills. Oh, thank you. Light work. Well, I'm telling y'all, man. These dudes don't know, man. And one ref. Right, this, this, this is why. This is why OKC keeps losing. And this is real talk. The reason why the Oklahoma City Thunder keep losing basketball games, it's simple. In crunch time, it's their, first of all, let's rewind. It's their fourth quarter rotations. First of all, you should be playing Paul George to start the fourth quarter, not Melo. Here's why I say that. Melo is statistically the clutchest player in the league, so it doesn't make sense to rest him at the seven minute, to play him from the 12 minute mark to the seven minute mark, rest him from the seven minute mark to the five minute mark, and then bring him back in while having Russ and PG already on the floor. That don't make sense. Okay. I understand why you do that, but here's something smarter. You start Russ and PG, okay, in the fourth quarter, have Melo rest. Bring them out, bring Russ and PG out at this seven minute mark. Put Melo in at the seven minute mark. Have him play by himself until the five minute mark so we can see that ISO Melo do what he needs to do in the post and just annihilate dudes, okay? And then bring Russ and PG back in at the five minute mark. Woo wee! I'm telling y'all, man, if they do that, it would be over. Yo, look what happened. Look, I don't know if y'all can see this. Look what happened to my eye, man. I woke up two days ago. I think a bug bit me inside. It's like swollen a little bit. Anyway, Steve, you got knocked out. Yeah, okay. Let me tell y'all this right now. If they did that, this team would win constantly. Okay? This team would win constantly because it's the rotations. That's why they're losing. Simply. And their defense is not that good. But they're new together. I'm telling you this right now. Golden State. You don't have to fear Russ. You don't have to fear Paul George. But you do have to fear one of the best players of all time who's on the verge of winning an NBA championship. You better be fearful because he's coming for you. He's coming for you, KD. He's coming for you, Steph. I'm telling y'all, man, if, if Melo makes it to the Western Conference Finals, it's over. It's over. No one's going to stop him. Have you seen him? People have been saying he's out of his prime. This dude is averaging 26. If you're, if you're out of your prime and you're averaging 26, what does that say about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're out of your prime and you're still averaging 26 points per game, what the hell does that say? 
That just goes to show you how great this dude actually is. And now people want to defend Melo, saying, oh, look, it's like he's in the Olympics again. He looks rejuvenated. He's been doing that since he was on the Knicks. You just haven't been paying attention because the Knicks suck. And the reason why his points per game went down the last two seasons, where they went down to 22 and then 23, is because the dude was literally getting not even just triple teamed. He was getting quadruple teamed in the post. Four people. Because the people around him, his teammates were so bad, the defense didn't care about him. So Melo was getting quadruple teamed. Could you imagine now? Where they can't even double team him because they'll just kick it out to Ross or 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 Sabrinas or or Morrow or, or Paul George or you know or he'll throw it down low to Steven Adams. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no one's gonna be able to stop him one on one, but I'm telling you all right now. Anyway, man, the man Steve, I'm out. Peace.